Good evening, members uh, and officers. Our support. Thank you very much, as always, for your support and officers who join us to share with us during the course of this evening's meeting. I welcome you to this meeting of the Overview and Scrutiny Panel. If the fire alarm is activated, please vacate the offices down the main staircase opposite the lifts in the foyer. Assemble in Holy Square on the green and officers will assist you and advise you when it's deemed safe to return to this chamber. Would everyone present please ensure mobile phones are turned to silent and they're not used to make or receive phone calls whilst the meeting is in progress. Please do note the meeting is being live streamed for members of the public. The meeting will also be recorded and subsequently broadcast on the internet. I can't see any members of the public here who might uh, intend on filming the meeting, but do any members intend to film the proceeding separately? Any officers intending to film? Okay, thank you very much. In, in which case, we will move over to the next part of our uh, housekeeping. I haven't received any requests to speak under Rule 20.1, but are there any uh, members, no, anybody here wishing to speak under Rule 20.1? Um, and I haven't had any requests for public speaking either, members. So we move on then to the substantive part of our agenda. Apologies for absence. I should have had a quick count up before I started this, shouldn't I? Councillor Abner. Uh, apologies from Councillor Pat Moore. Thank you very much. I think the rest of us are here, I believe, aren't we now? Um, are there any declarations of interest for tonight's business that need to be recorded? Okay, thank you. Uh, the minutes then of two uh, previous meetings, one we held on the 8th of July 2021, and there's a copy attached on the agenda for everybody. Uh, could I have a proposer, please, unless members have comments they wish to make? Proposer? Yeah. Councillor Fellows, thank you. And a seconder, please. Thank you, Councillor Moore. Do members agree for the 8th of July? Thank you. Moving on then to the meeting we held on the 20th of July, also included in the report. Uh, any comments from members regarding those minutes? In which case, could I have a proposal that we accept those minutes? Thank you, Councillor Common Cook. And a seconder, please. Thank you very much. Councillor Tomlinson. And do members agree? Thank you very much. I now call a please upon uh, Adrian Verrill to introduce the report concerning the statement of community involvement, the results of the public consultation and adoption. Mr Verrill, please. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, members, I'll, I'll be quite brief because I think the report is fairly self-explanatory. Um, we carried out a consultation in February to April this year. Uh, the main issues and the responses are at uh, Annex 1, and we've summarised those at paragraph 2.5 of the report. Uh, and there's also an, uh, an equalities impact assessment attached. The only thing that I would draw your attention to in the recommendation uh, it talks about full council on the 9th of September, but I believe that's been postponed to a later date. But um, yes, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions members have about the report. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Barrett. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Barrett. Yes, that's quite right. The, uh, the main meeting of the 9th has been uh, postponed, but there will still be an opportunity to ask question, answer questions, I believe, from members of the public. Um, Members, do any members have any questions for Mr. Verrill or comments on, on the report the work's been undertaken? Sorry, Councillor Key. Thank you. Uh, my question's just about um, you can register to be part of the consultation um, and then get notices of, of when things come. Um, up either as a district or a particular ward area. I just wondered, could community groups register? Um, because they're a good source of disseminating the information in their communities. 
Uh, yes, they can. Uh, anyone can uh, register on the system. Uh, all people have to do is to write to us and ask to be put on the system. We put them on the system and they'll automatically get emails and notifications about different consultations. So, Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, I just wanted to welcome the decision about uh, not charging for um, uh, responses and also to welcome the emphasis on improved relationships and closer relationships with town and parish councils. I think those of us who are double hatters in this room will particularly welcome that as there's an awful lot of benefit to be gained from closer working relationships with town and parish councils as with community groups as, as Councillor Keane has highlighted. Thank you. That's true. And just in case, it is now public knowledge um, that Ramsgate Town Council now has uh, a new town clerk who will be starting shortly. And uh, among other things, we are hoping for a much improved working relationship between the town clerk at Ramsgate and TDC. And hopefully, therefore, that will fit into the point you've just made, uh, Councillor Austin, about good working relationships and fostering good development, particularly when it involves uh, community engagement and so on. So, yeah, it's uh, just to let members know there is a, a new town clerk starting fairly soon. Councillor Boyd. Thank you, Chair, and thank you for the report. Um, just one question. Actually, I might have two. I'm going to go for this one first. Um, on page 28, it says uh, the council will consult for longer than six weeks, depending on the depth and complexity of the subjects of the consultation. Uh, yada yada blah 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 um, what I want to know is roughly that says that kind of leaves it open as to X amount of, of weeks so I want you to expand more about what do you mean by complexity and the depth and those type of things does that make sense thank you um, so if it's a, if it's a something like a short supplementary planning document you might just go for the six weeks um, most of the local plan consultations are six weeks, but sometimes we extend those to eight weeks. Um, and it really just depends on the level of complexity because the last local plan was a full local plan. The one we're currently preparing is a partial plan. It's a partial update. So it's not the whole plan being revised. So, you know, it, it just, it's about really giving people enough time to respond depending on how complex those issues are. Um, but usually we would consult for a minimum of six. Thank you, Mr. Well. Yes, Councillor Boyd. Thank you. And for my um, second question, um, I've seen that you've got about uh, adverts and announcements appearing in uh, local newspapers uh, and a lot of listed there. Um, is there anything being done around sort of social media? Often we find that a lot of the public kind of hear about things last minute because it's already the six weeks has already come to an end and then we obviously hear a lot on social media so would there be anything actively done on those uh yes we and we have done that in the past we've worked quite closely with comms uh they use their facebook outlets and their various other means of getting information out uh, and the the e-newsletter that's done so we we do work quite closely with comms so there will be work on social media as well as you know, uh, more traditional outlets Thank you, Mr. Bell. Members, any further comments or questions? In particular, um, I welcome the paragraph on page four, which says the council is going to use plain English. <laughs> I think that's going to help a lot, of, a lot of people perhaps understand more quickly what, what's going on. But thank you very much for that. Members, if there are no further uh, comments, questions for Mr. Verrill. Um, we do need to adopt one of the recommendations. Let me just get it back open again. And they are at the bottom of there we are. We have three options. Option one, to agree the responses to the consultation, agree the proposed amendments and recommend that the reviewed and amended uh, SCI be reported to full council for adoption or option two, 
to require further changes to be made to the document and recommend a reviewed amended SCI report to full council for adoption. I beg your pardon, the answer it, of course, there are num number one is recorded as the recommended and preferred option. Um, could I then have a proposer if members are happy to recommend? Councillor Fellows. Thank you, Chair. Can I propose option one, please? And a seconder, please. Thank you, Councillor Colman Cook. Do members agree? Yes. yes. Agreed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Verrill. Next agenda item is uh, the review of the overview and scrutiny work programme for 2021-2022. Uh, members, you are of course invited to comment on this, but first I'd like to ask uh, Nick Hughes to introduce the section of the report regarding the setting up of the Coastal Waste Practices Scrutiny Review. You may remember we talked about this briefly last time as one of our uh, planned future events. Mr Hughes. Thank you, Chairman. Um, <clears throat> you know. So, uh, as requested, Democratic Services have created the draft terms of reference for the Coastal Waste Scrutiny Review. Uh, this also includes um, the uh, replacement bins review as well at the same time to combine the two. Uh, the terms of reference are outlined at Annex 4 to the report. Uh, they've been reviewed by the Chairman and the Senior Management Team. And I would ask members to see if they're acceptable to the panel. Uh, and if so, to approve those. If the panel are minded to agree the terms of reference, then I'd also suggest that you decide on the size of the scrutiny group. Um, these sorts of groups generally tend to work as a smaller group, so I would suggest, as it says in the, in the annex, uh, either three or five, uh, and there's no uh, need for political balance on that panel. Uh, the members of the group would usually be drawn from within the panel, um, but if there are insufficient volunteers, um, then you can extend invitations to members from outside of the panel if you want to. Uh, if it's agreed, we would generally start the review in September, um, working through to a conclusion before the end of the calendar year. So I I'm happy to answer any questions if members have them. Thank you very much, Ms Hughes. Now, I know there's going to be uh, a level of interest in this because it's always an issue for a, uh, a coastal town and we are three sides water cul-de-sac, so it is a big issue for us here. Um, I'm quite happy, whatever members feel is appropriate, whether to have a panel made up of three members of this committee or five, which, whichever you feel uh, most comfortable with. I know that um, Councillor Fellows has an interest in this topic and I've asked him as your Vice Chairman if he would consider uh, uh, running, taking the lead on this report um, and then uh, getting uh, more volunteer members from the panel if possible. We don't have to do it this evening but preferable to do it this evening because it will save lots of phone calls later on. So, do we have a, a general show of interest from people who'd like to be involved? Councillor Austin. Yes, I'd like to be involved, please. I wanted to ask about how the bin bit is going to in integrate with this, because really what I was hoping for was a, a broader review of waste services more generally. Um, and I know that was floated very briefly at the last meeting, but I don't think any formal decision came on it. That's right, it, it was floated, but it is such a huge area of work. I think focusing on the coastal part of the work, which is in a sense, uh, essentially it's where all the tourism is, um, and that's the, the, the public face, if you like. That's not to devalue residents and their concerns, and the service that they are owed by uh, by the council at all. But we thought for this one to have a look at this and particularly to see how it affects uh, what the council is doing and how successful the council may be during this summer. So the coastal review uh, we decided to keep it more linked to the coast. Yes. 
Uh, th th that that sounds fine. Um, can can somebody explain to me then the bit about the bins and how the bins review fits in with this, Mr. Hughes? Yeah, we we put the bins in there because um, it just felt if we're looking at this particular area of of coastal um, um, uh, waste, um, it's actually specific, uh, particularly about dog bins, um, and obviously they are quite prominent along the coast probably along the promenades and that sort of thing. I um, mean, obviously, they've, um, that was a separate review uh, listed on the thing. So as we thought there may be a little bit of crossover, we thought we'd put them together and hopefully um, uh, deal with uh, both at the same time. OK, that's great. Can I be an absolute pain and ask if there is any possibility of bringing forward a, 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 another review to look at residence waste management and whatever at a later date in that case, Chair? Of course. Of course. Thank you. If you want to uh, give, if you want to contact us, um, we can help you um, put together a, a um, request document which focuses on the question that you want asked, and then we can score it and add it to the uh, list of potential stuff that you see at um, whatever the other annex is. Help, Charles. Uh, <laughs> is it is it three or four, two? Three, uh, three. Uh, annex three. Yeah. That's so great. Uh, thank you. I've obviously misunderstood what I was supposed yeah. to do with that. Thank you. No, that's fine. Uh, thank you, Chair. Yes, I, I welcome this. Um, I would like to be involved. Um, earlier this year, um, I think most people know I, I hope you don't mind, Chair, because we all represent different areas, but the coastal lovely part of the market called Westbrook. Here's the plug. Um, amongst other things, if I, I'm going to be very polite and say I went through hell earlier this year of lack of bins. Um, we even had people, Joe Public, moving them along the prong because it wasn't outside their beach hut. Um, now, uh, the emails and so forth, yes, they, they got rather, if I, I say there aren't words for it, so um, I am, I'm not just about that, I am interested, I think everybody knows the tourism side of Thanet, always have been, and I think this is a, a wonderful opportunity just to have a say and um, yeah, get involved. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, I just want to say, um, obviously we've got a, a, a wide representation here. We've got uh, uh, Councillor Thompson from Margate, uh, uh, Ramsgate and Ramsgate Council here in Tiftonville. It would be a good idea over the bank holiday weekend, if we're all out and about, if we see any issues, maybe take some photographs so we can talk about them in our meeting whenever we have one. Yes, I just want to put myself forward as well so that um, we really get a wide view of the whole area. I'd say myself, Chair, I'd like to put myself forward. I keep forgetting the microphone. I think we're all the way around the coastline now, aren't we? We've got. This is our We've got Have we? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, I think, I mean, it's obviously, in a sense, it's up to members, but the recommendation is if you get much bigger than five, you, you've then got too many people to try to get together, uh, perhaps too frequently. Um, but um, if uh, subsequent to this evening, someone actually looks at their calendar and realises they can't get involved, please do let us know and then we can involve others who might like to get involved. But thank you very much everybody who has said you'd like to take part in this um, and thank you uh, Nick for, for that uh, report and for preparing this for us. What we have to do then for this evening is to agree the following, that we conduct a review of the Council's coastal waste practices. I think members have agreed on that. That we set up a coastal waste practices review working party, which is going to have five people on it at the moment. And for the moment, providing you're still happy to, Councillor Fellows uh, will lead on that for the members. And that the working party terms of reference are as detailed in Annex 4 to the report, unless there are any amendments members wish to make. 
and that we note the rest of the report as it's been presented to us. Are members happy with that? Thank you very much. Agenda item number seven, then, um, is the uh, rev forward plan and exempt cabinet report list. You poor little peepers can't see this screen very well. Now, I think, do, do any of you, do you still have copies of the current um, report list? I'm sure I had it in my hand this morning. Just give me a moment, please, members. printing them off at home, isn't it? <laughs> Must be this one. That's the one. This is the one. There we are. This is the one. Do members have any comments to make on the current uh, list? Any recommendations to make? Okay, members, then we are asked to note the report. Thank you very much, Mr. Hughes. That concludes the, I think that concludes the business for this evening. Except to say, um,